So it is gone. Aaron Hopkins has a few titles. Okay. Including Handyman. This right here is a uh, outdoor pavilion that's going to be our farm stand. Around the Southside Farms. Yeah, we got some broccoli coming up. She's known as Minister Aaron. We don't have access to good quality yeah. food that's going to affect our quality of life. And this garden has been able to share food to a lot of people for free. About 250 people are served every week here on the South Side. We have carrots over there, potatoes, cucumbers. Carrots, potatoes, beans. cucumbers. You got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is curly leaf kale. And helping grow that stuff is Laura Cancino from Columbia. She's earning her master's in urban farming at Ohio State. The different herbs we grow. Helping feed this neighborhood, believing she can help feed the world. Communities can organize and work together as a team and develop and grow. What's that do here? Oh, that's <laughs> I like this love. A bulk of the produce is grown at other gardens. This stand will soon provide vegetables twice a week and lessons daily, maybe even providing produce to prevent prison. And so we do want to change that story and uh, that restorative justice uh, to even help them do community service uh, to know what it is to, to, to pay for what you've done. Mm -hmm. Are you going to say that doing some of this gardening mm -hmm. could help solve the youth violence problem? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely saying that. Trying, Lauda says, because, like, the resources to get the neighborhoods out of the tragedy of commons economic theory. Instead of self-interest, each works together for the common good. But uh, we need to get them away from uh, the video games and the negative influence. And so I'm one, I like to see them with some dollars in their pocket and doing it the right way. Feed your neighbor, feed the world.